Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Kazuridex. As you know by now, we're the Mughal Ottoman Empire, and we have done very well. Last time, we took out Russia and destroyed her stability and war support off-screen because, uh, well, I wanted to eat them up. Um, but regardless, we are here, and we've just gone to war with the Third International. Hopefully, we don't end up dying too much, too crazily, but you never know. We're attacking Ukraine right now, and, well, it looks like they're finally winning the war over here. Um, yeah, and Africa's doing all right. Hopefully, we can do well. No guarantees. Uh, literally, the war has just started again, um, and we're going to try to push in hard and fast. So, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, we can have air superiority, but of course, there's no guarantee. It's really just us against the entire third international. Um, hopefully, they're not very well prepared for all this. And I wish we were moving in, but you know, I guess beggars can't be choosers. But we do have one heck of a sub navy at this point. Boop. Go ahead. Do your worst. Oh, yeah. Destroy everything that you have around here, hopefully. Um, I know we're definitely going to be struggling in a few places here and there and whatnot. But hopefully we can move in fast enough. That is the hope and goal. They're going to take out all the Bulgarian stuff, but whatever. I don't really care too much. Um, they're probably going to destroy quite a few of our subs through here, but whatever. Uh, ah, Tunisian Commune has fallen already. Good, 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 good. You guys are, have so far done very well. We're taking out Morocco, but too bad we don't care about Morocco, you know? Boop, 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 boop. There you go. Nice. Oh, that's not nice. That's never good. Uh, you guys are up top. See what you can do. They're shoveling a lot of soldiers over, and hopefully we can make an encirclement somewhere here. Yeah. Encirclements would be nice. Ooh, of course, we need to take out the, their port city here, too. Good. And they are encircled fully now. Yay! That's only a few divisions compared to the full might that we got destroyed here, but still. But we're going to use these kind of like a special army here. Ooh, not ideal. You better be learning a lot. Sea Wolf, Blue Water Expert, all the good stuff. Oh. We're doing very well in the Turkish Commune. We're counting more difficulties all around Ukraine now. Well, this is to be expected. Wow, we've lost a lot of guys already. But we've killed off a lot of them too. So it's a give and take. I suppose air is probably not great right now. They have a lot of planes. Wow. Interesting. Uh -huh. Sure. 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 You know what? That's a bit too many there. And we'll shove you here. If we can. Last modern sub holes. Yeah, we're going to lose a few things here and there. Unfortunately. Yeah. Well, we're good at first on this. Initial strike. It's gonna take a lot to get rid of these guys here. It'll take one heck of a lot. We're looking okay here, though. You guys are doing okay. You guys up north are probably suffering from a lot of supply issues. I'm sure of it. Boop! Oh, boop! 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 boop. North Africa's looking okay. I just have a lot of divisions that went up. If you guys could win here, that'd be quite ideal. But it's air superiority that we're suffering from, or lack of. Because they just have so many. Our speed is lower than theirs, but everything else is faster. There we go. Ah. Good. Krasnodar. Good. Probably lost a couple more. Yeah. Can we do anything here, maybe? 
Maybe, maybe not. We're doing very well down here, though. Do your best to not get bound. Come on. They're all here to kill them off. No, you have to keep going. Well, I don't understand this. Mm -hmm. There you go. Finally. Was that so hard to do? Oh, seriously. Ramp up, uh... Oh, I need more aluminum now. Uh, I don't think we can get any more overall, unfortunately. Mm, we could fry that, but we'll probably not get enough, really. Continue secret convoys and whatnot. So, we'll see. It's just air superiority is going to be killing us here. Which really sucks, because we want to do well here. Bolster spirits, yeah. War propaganda is always good. Uh, we have no stability, but, you know, base value is negative 43%. It is what it is. Uh, but we get some more weekly stability, anyways. But eventually, we'll be able to do rest restoration of the supply and poor. After a hard fought campaign, eventually, we finally were taken Constantia and saved the Ottoman Empire from complete destruction. With the Sublime Port reopened, the time has come to restore the Sultan to his rightful place eventually. Glory to the warrior Sultan, Osman IV, who has taken his rightful place on the throne. Or at least he will. And here we're at, everybody. We actually lost quite a bit of the Turkish Commune, um, but we've been pushing really hard into Central and Eastern Europe, so we're doing quite well so far. Um, tons of casualties, tons and tons and tons and tons, but hey, Romania's gone. Means more oil for us. And a couple of encirclements here and there, too, so. Uh, we're doing okay. Not great, but okay. Um, we lost a lot of subs. Pretty normal. Um, we actually have a decent amount of equipment for now. Let's take a look-see. Not quite ready to be completely independent yet. Uh, sure, we'll do that. Hey! We're 11 circumstances, so continue and keep going. That would be great. Pretty laggy. It's 1945. German People's Republic is gone, thank God. Ooh, you have nothing to do here. Well, I don't know about that. We're going to need some help here. This part's a pain in the butt to fight. Yeah, since we're here, I might as well just find you guys too, I suppose. Why not, you know? Completely out of rubber. Pretty normal. Small advanced airframes. Boop, boop. Oh, I'm just falling too. Great! So once one started falling, the soul gets easier, and then easier, and easier, and easier, and easier, and easier. It's good. Using a lot of command power up. And our stability is returned to normal, thank goodness. Um, so, yay! Keep going, guys. You're doing a good job. Support Tibet, uh, bolster spirits, weekly wars from enemy bombings and casualties. Spirit frugality. Stability is coming back up, too, which is nice. So things are finally looking around. Um, we're actually doing okay, bombing wise, destroying ships. We're losing a few planes here and there still, but nothing that we can't manage, basically. Hey, Austria's gone. It helps us out with artillery uh, losses and whatnot. Uh, where you get that? You guys should be able to do this by this point now. Should be the keyword. Um, prevent the air, trucks. Get you some more rubber. I'm gonna build more things up all over the place here. Rubber would be nice. It's been pretty darn laggy, but what else do you expect, you know? There you go. And honestly, I guess we get more trains, maybe. Lots of trains. I like trains. Hey, we made it all the way to the Adriatic. Look at that. Nice. You know, boosting everything up here as much as possible. I guess nothing to do, which is fine. You guys help kill, kill off these guys. This is annoying. Rubber processing. Great. There goes the Serbs. Thank you. Any more... Bosnia Herzegovina, South German Council is gone, yes. Batavian Commune, great. Good, now we're really out of rubber. Africa though, we love Africa for that reason. Nice, look at all these guys. Ugh, oh, kill yourselves please. Dude, I suppose we finally have air superiority. It's taking so freaking long. To get air superiority here. 
Ah. Uh. That in mind. Um. It's all quiet on the uh, western front. How you guys doing overall? Well, we still have great air. We're working on it. They're suffering a lot more casualties in the air, even though we don't near, have nearly as many planes. But when we do capitulate enemy nations, we can use the planes that we get from them. So, in the end, we'll, we'll win. It is a few more. Montenegro, I didn't even know you existed. Yeah, I keep losing some nav. Naval, naval bombers. I was not like we started making any bombs. I had to make them myself. So, well, yeah, let's make a couple destroyers. That's good. Where are you guys? Ah. I mean, the ships aren't good here, anyways, but still. Nice. Oh, that's not good. You know, I've completely ignored, though. People up north, Norway. How are you doing? You're still moving in? Great. I literally completely forgot about them. Keep it up, guys. Hey, at least we're talking Paris now. Well, France. Split Italy in two, which is nice. Paris will fall soon, hopefully. How are you guys doing? Ah, I got supplies. Good. And I completely forgot about the cavalry. I guess we lost a couple divisions here and there, haven't we? Oops. Oh well. Kind of hang out for now, I suppose. Well, we've done very well. Casualties. 1.7 million. That's not bad. 1.3. Yeah, they've we cut off quite a few divisions. 13 million losses. Of course, they're also fighting a Western African Front, or African Federation, or whatever they call themselves now. Probably capitulate them. Oh, Fall of Paris, great. Great. Hello, what happened here? Why is the game leading our front lines? Barcelona, good. Good. Very nice, very nice, very nice. 
Um, who else is capital? You know, Britain. It's pretty normal. That's not surprising at all. You guys can just go in. You do realize, right? I know we're gonna need someone to enable invade. Good, good, good. Tons of rubber. These are almost done, which is good. This is so stupid. Hey, nuclear bombs, look at that. Guys, because I want them to enable invade. I don't know if we'll be successful or not, but we can try it. Uh, oh, we have no naval invasion support. Okay, then. Hello, game. Come on, let's stop screwing up here. Ah, just in time for that. How are they able to destroy us like this still, man? Eid. It's fine. Spanish Socialist Republic. Good. Finally, we can see these things. Need a massive amount of rubber. Oof. Wow, we are losing a crap ton of planes. Wow! Don't think those forts really helped them out.
time still. It's on. We just have to navally invade next. And as you can hopefully see on screen, we have landed. Um, we basically did the normal approach of starving out the, what is it called? Union of Britain. And uh, yeah, we're doing all right. I forgot to put spies here too, but they're out of fuel. So basically we just, we bum, we didn't bum rush them, but uh, basically just kept attacking them until they ran out of convoys and fuel. And we lost a lot of guys along the way. For example, lost three casts here, sunk them. So until they couldn't like keep up with us. So uh, yeah. Overall, not bad. Not too shabby, I'd have to say so myself. Um, so we got one army moving in there uh, for now. You guys, I guess, can all show it up if you really want to. That's a crap ton of convoys, though. Ooh, well, would you look at that? Ooh, I lost some armor sub. We're trying to attack them. They probably have all the fuel left in these ships. I wouldn't want to destroy those ships just because I'd like to collect them myself, but that's a, just me. Uh, but we invaded, so. And we're doing all right. And we're ruining Communard Legacy because. Traditionally, you all know that the Mughal Empire is the rightful owner of Paris. We all know this. Um, so yeah, it's going very well. How much rubber are we up? Only negative 200. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, you can have beat up whales, I guess. Oh well, not too bad. It's just very, very costly to do it like this, but when you own most of the world, I guess, you know, at least a third of it, you do very well. And America, well, they're having a good old time. Yeah. Oh. We're here too, why not? Screw it. See what you can do. And the horses go in. Who's gonna fall first, the Union of Britain or Switzerland? Well, I guess they are. Cool. And we're gonna do this piece and see what happens next. The restoration of the Ottoman Empire. After a long and grueling campaign, fighting in the hot deserts and dangerous rugged terrain of the Middle East and all over Europe, we finally were taking Constantia, allowing us to make good on our promise to restore the Sultan to his rightful place as a Caliph of Islam and the Sultan of a reborn Ottoman Empire. From the Dardanelles to Baghdad, from Sinai to Ankar, the lands of the so-called sick men of Europe have been cleared of disease and brought back to life as the true scions of Allah, grace of Fertile Crescent once more, standing side by side. Our allied forces of Af Afghanistan, or <clears throat> the Mughal Empire, and the Ottoman government in exile were able to beat all the odds, and now we may bask in the sunlight together as brother nations forevermore. Now it begins a Herculean effort to rebuild in this old order in a new light, so it does not collapse into decay once again, but at least we shall not be alone in the efforts this time as Allah's chosen lands on this first fertile earth is rebuilt brick by brick. Sick man's no heal. Oh, you get a new capital. Look at that. Forging an inseparable bond, it was not only the Ottomans or Afghan, but the combined efforts of both nations to restore the Sultanate to its rightful place. As the two armies marched side by side, the divisions between the two nations had slowly begun to fade. The bond between the Turks and Afghans is now inseparable, and may the ascendant Afghan <coughs> Mughal Ottoman Empire last for a thousand years. Absolutely. Well, we've got all this stuff to do. Look at all these fates we've got to figure out. Whee! Nope, nope. At this point, nope. I don't believe in their independence. It's all under Allah, my friends. Allah said, we shall administer it ourselves. That's right. Did you know that Brazil is rightful Mughal Ottoman clay? There you go. Uh, we got a lot of you to do. Negative 500, negative 57 stability. That's pretty okay. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. I don't know about you, but this looks perfect to me. And then what, the final Balkan War? 
by Hayreddin's legacy. It was during the 16th century that the great Hayreddin Pasha was able to establish Ottoman dominance over the Mediterranean. Originally a Corsair, Hayreddin and his brothers rose to prominence by launching raids on Spanish and Portuguese ships, halting European efforts to assert their rule over Tajirs, Algiers, and Tunis. Hayreddin's efforts caught the attention of Suleiman the Magnificent, who made him Grand Admiral of the Ottoman Navy, who followed in Hayreddin's footsteps and bring Ottoman dominance back to North Africa and the Mediterranean Sea, once again, shall the Europeans fear to traverse the Barbary Coast or the final Balkan War. It seemed that the wider world had wrongfully believed that our empire, the so-called sick men of Europe, had rightfully come to an end. They thought that we were, we were a spent force, collapsing under the weight of a foreign invasion and revolts. With the restoration of the Sultanate, a new golden age dawns on the sublime port. As a show of strength, our armies will cross the Bosphorus and return to Europe once again. Um, you get more chords with this one, so... Afghan Ottoman unity. After a long period of exile and close cooperation, the new reinstated Ottoman government and government of M the Mughal Empire has become true allies with inseparable bonds and unshakable faith in one another's ability to see united ambitions through to their successful and inevitable end. United. Uh, in purpose, faith, and diplomatic outlook, many Af uh, Mughals and their born Ottoman Empire reign together for a thousand years or more, for together we are unstoppable. Together under Allah we shall weather any storm. Yes, believe in Allah, my friends, for Allah believes in us. As we, Allah also believes in more oil. Yeah, I don't think I'd get this far in this campaign. This is actually kind of cool that we actually were able to do all this stuff. Caracao, Montenegro. There you go. No, oh, my friends, Allah says no. That's right. But yeah, um, pretty good overall. I, I, I had a lot of fun with this campaign, you know. Um, Kaiser Redux is pretty good about doing all that stuff with uh, making paths wacky and crazy. And I love how our base stability or stays, base war support is 0%. Uh, but we're looking alright. And you know what? We're building a lot of roads. Oh, and we do both. Oh, that's great. So can we attack them now? Send in the army. Well, we got a lot of material business here. But can't quite do that yet. I wanted to complete this, and they'll call it a campaign. But yeah, overall not too bad. It's KKK won in America, and they're fighting Alaska. Who wins Alaska? Of course, Alyssa Rosenbaum does. Uh, of course. Edward lost very hard. Ah! For some reason, at the time of this recording, it looks like a pot potential... Uh, does he look like J.D. Vance at all? Maybe a little bit. He honestly kind of does. Is that terrible to say? Can I say that? I, I don't care at this point. Yeah, I'm going to say that. He it reminds me of J.D. Vance a little bit. The haircut, the, the head, uh, posture, the ovalness of his face. It, it is what it is. Just things I notice. I'm not trying to make it for anything. Just, he just looks just looks like it a little bit. At least to me. But I could be very, very wrong about that. But I think we'll end it there. We've done really well. I really, really enjoyed this campaign. So if you did too, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, and have a great Mughal Ottoman Empire a la Rastav, your day.